Hi, uh, some of you have asked the question that while running PHP, sometimes you run into a server error, as you can see on your screen. And how can we fix this error? One of the ways to fix the error would be, let's say if I'm running, and I pick a server and I hit finish, technically speaking, it should start to run your server and should show you the output. In case it doesn't do that, however, what you can do is you can click the window and go to preferences. In the preferences down below here, you will have your server runtime environment. You can click on your server and you can simply remove it. It will ask you, you can say, yes, I want to remove the server and just remove it altogether. Then add the server again. You will choose from the list PHP, PHP, next. You will install the PHP files using the same folder. If you already have this set up, you can click on it and add it again. Or if you want, you can remove it all the way through and then you can click on add. You can browse, you can go to that folder that you have on your computer where your PHP server application file is. So make sure you look for the PHP application and click open. Hit next. Choose the debugger. Hit finish. And apply and close. Then hit finish and you will have your PHP again. Apply and close. So you are basically bringing in your PHP server all the way through again. So the first thing you should do is come back to the servers tab, right click on the existing server and delete it all the way so that everything is deleted, cleaned up, okay? Now you will try to run it on the server. So run as on server, choose your built-in server, next, finish. Now, if it gives you an error that the port number 80 is already in use, so go ahead and open the server.xml, go to its port and change the port number to, let's say, 8080. Press enter, save the changes, close the XML file, and run it again. And this time it'll go through and give you the output. So that's one of the easiest ways to remove the server and put it back in place. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.